I bring you greetings from the Northern Accra Diocese of the Methodist Church, Ghana, and pray that as we celebrate Christmas, the Spirit of God Himself will be with us, direct our thoughts, our activities, and help us to appreciate what Christmas stands for. Christmas, we all know, is the most joyous of all the festivities in the Christian year. Christmas is a time that we are reminded that the only thing which has ever really happened from creation until now, the Word made flesh, God coming down to live amongst us, happened. The season also reminds us of the initiative that God took to reconcile humanity unto himself and by extension expects us to live in peace with one another. Of course, peace in our hearts, peace with our neighbors, and peace in our nation. Hence, the best that the church, and for that matter, the Methodist church can offer the nation and world at this time is to become peace makers. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, in Isaiah 66 and verse 10 through to 14, peace is translated as shalom, which stands for harmony, joy, well-being in every sense, and prosperity. Using the picture of a child at its mother's large breast, as the mother comforts the child to illustrate his idea of peace, Isaiah implies by peace privileged intimacy, a wondrous dependency, and great delight. That is why we have to note that peace is not necessarily found in state institutions like military power or police force, but peace is found in and with the Lord. And occasions that uh, when we talk of peace, our part is to be obedient to God's law and our part is to, be, is to establish um, justice and uh, righteousness. In Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8, calling on believers to the way of peace, Paul enjoins us to focus our minds on eight qualities. He says, and I read, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about these things. But as Christians, we also have to note that criticism does not always mean hatred. Though the correction must be done in love and with all courtesy and humility. Because a house divided against itself cannot survive. Disunity does not bring peace, but disunity breaches the peace. Disunity hinders progress and leads to serious consequences. The season in which we find ourselves, Christmas, is a season, is a period of peace and a period of unity. But as we experience this peace and unity, Christmas also enjoins us to be patient so that we may refrain from rushing to avenge a wrong or insult. We as Christians must be prepared to be patient with one another, however unkind they might be. The way of peace is therefore a genuine concern for the poor and underprivileged in the country. It is not only to talk about human rights, but also to genuinely safeguard those rights. But how do we arrive at, at this peace? This peace is His will. 
that is the will of God. That is that which brings us this peace. And in the final analysis means oneness with God's will. So the search for peace must begin with individuals like us, Christians for that matter, and then radiates to the family, to the community, the nation, and the world. This peace must be continually worked for and worked at. Peace should be our greeting. Peace should be our mark as we celebrate Christmas. With our cooperation, God is able to transform our nation and world with all its problems into a place of peace. As I end, let us also be mindful about the level of celebration that we inject into the season. Let us appreciate that as Methodists and as Christians, our hallmark is modesty. And as we celebrate in, in modesty, let us also be mindful of the COVID-19 pandemic and the effect it had had on the nation and on the world. And uh, therefore, to observe all the protocols to the letter. And once we do our part, God also does his part and we all live in peace so that Christmas and for what it means will be exactly what God wants us or what God wants it to be for all of us. May the Lord bless all of us in all our endeavors. May we all enjoy the season. As I come your way today, I bring you greetings from the Northern Accra Diocese and wish you well. Afishapa to everyone, to our children, to the youth, to the elderly, and to everyone in the diocese and in the nation. May God bless us all. Amen.